Welcome to Media Beat, MediaBistro.com's video interview show featuring the biggest names in media. I'm Joe Ciarallo, editor of PR Newser. I'm here with Matthew Hiltzik, founder of PR firm Hiltzik Strategies. Matthew, thanks for joining us. Thanks for letting me be the one to debut your new backdrop. It's great. We're happy to have great. you here. Thanks for coming. Um, I wanted to ask you, you represent some of the biggest names in media. Uh, Katie Couric, Don Imus, Glenn Beck. What are some of the uh, challenges in representing such high-profile clients in the 24-7, always-on media landscape? Well, I think that's something that, in, in PR in general, is mm -hmm. uh, the fact that, you know, as opposed to other industries, sometimes mm -hmm. the, uh, the missteps are a little more obvious to the world when you make them. Mm -hmm. Uh, it's it's also a challenge. I mean, you have to constantly be on. You have to be on your BlackBerry. You have to still try to make a, a balance between your family time and your work time while making sure to, to stay on top of everything. And how do you, a lot of these high-profile stories, media personalities, other uh, clients you're working with, how do you manage those those client needs uh, during some of those big stories? How do you make sure? Well, I think that in them? general you need to be really taking the time to develop the relationship with the individual and to be able to understand their preferred method of communicating and, and how they do things on a day-to-day -day basis mm -hmm. and to really respect them having their, their privacy, having their room, understanding what are the stories or the angles that are going to be most upsetting to them or uh, the ones that they, on a positive note, the things that they really that matter the most in terms of making the public aware of. And you've worked extensively in politics as well and some campaigns with Chuck Schumer and some other politicians. What do you make of the Obama administration's communication strategy uh, over the first year of their... Well, I think that they were dealing with a really tough situation. I mean, the economy being as bad as it was, um, and it was almost the reverse example of being hungry when you go shopping mm -hmm. in the supermarket, where there you can't, you don't even know where to start, so you buy everything. I think here there were so many things that needed to be, uh, needed to be addressed in the country that it's almost like, well, where do you start and how do you actually mm -hmm. do this? And and I think that it, it's a bad idea to judge anybody based on one year. I think that mm -hmm. um, you know, they had, did a really good job during the campaign of being able to communicate directly with people. And I think that you know we'll see over the next year or two about whether that uh, will pay dividends. Um, you had a nice profile story in the Washington Post this past October talking about some of your work. And, um... My parents liked it, so <laughs> I'll go by that, but it's okay. Send it home to mom and dad. Um, Ken Sunshine, who we all know, told The Post, um, I value our friendship. I wouldn't be caught dead representing Glenn Beck. What is your response to people who like to... I value, my friendship, with, I value my friendship with Ken, and I wouldn't be caught dead representing Van Jones. <laughs> so I, uh, I, I'd say the same thing. I mean, look, I love Ken. He's been an incredible friend to me. Uh, he's been a mentor in different ways. And uh, it's something for me, as I, I also mentioned there, um, you know, I'm not going to change who I am or, or who I work with based on mm -hmm. what other people say. Um, you know, Glenn's somebody who I know for a long time, mm -hmm. and, uh, you know, I'm very comfortable with my clients. Uh, there's plenty of, thankfully, opportunities where, uh, that I don't take because I don't feel comfortable mm -hmm. uh, potentially even exploring relationships with people. Mm -hmm. So I, I feel very, uh, I'm, I'm pretty solid where I am in terms of uh, the clients we have and, and the values and underlying relationships that are there. And who has been your most challenging client over all the years that you've been in the PR industry? Um, I'd say that the most, um, look, I'm, I'm always going to be partial to Harvey Weinstein for my mm -hmm. five and a half years that, that I, you know, worked there and, and several years afterwards that I, you know, was consistently involved with his PR. Once in a while we do some things now and Harvey and I are still have a, you know, a really mm -hmm. good relationship. It, it wasn't always a challenge, but it, I guess challenge is one word that people might use mm -hmm. for it. Um, it was just an extraordinary opportunity to be exposed to such a wide range of media. I was able to deal with Miramax TV, Miramax Books, Miramax Films, Talk Magazine, mm -hmm. uh, all the Oscar campaigns, individual film campaigns, uh, corporate profile, crisis management, philanthropic mm -hmm. and uh, political fundraising, um, concert for New York, all sorts of other things. And you know, and I was also fortunate in the late 90s to be with a great group of people in a political scene from 98 to 2000 where you had again, new generation of people who came up on the Schumer and Spitzer races and, and then everything relating to Hillary Clinton, um, the listening tour in 99, and then I'd come back again. Uh, I'd take a leave from Harvey at the end of the campaign in 2000 to be able to work with her then. So mm -hmm. each of those are challenges in their own ways. Sure. Um, in terms of the people now, I, you know, I'm, I appreciate you know, what we have and whatever mm -hmm. you know, momentary challenges we have is just sort of part of the job and it's not really much about them. Gotcha. Well, thanks, Matthew. This end of part one, um, all very interesting. We're going to continue in part two of our interview with Matthew Hiltzik, founder of Hiltzik Strategies, to talk about some of the biggest PR trends and the PR industry trends in the last year or so. Great.